In today's video, I'm gonna share with you a very quick little trick that for whatever reason seems to fix a lot of glitching issues in Premiere. Check it out. Hey guys, Tanya here. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share the most amazing little trick that I've learned over the years when it comes to resolving glitches in Premiere. So this trick actually came from someone who worked at Adobe. I spent hours this one time uh, trying to troubleshoot a problem with a project. It didn't seem to be a computer issue. All my other files were working. It was just this one file that of course was due like the next day. After many hours of like remote screen control, which they will do on Adobe's end if like you have no idea what's happening, she suggested that we try this like little trick and sure enough it worked immediately I wish that we had done it first but whatever I mean if you use Premiere on a regular basis you'll know there are a plethora of things that go wrong fairly often so this is the first thing I do when any of those things start to present themselves check it out Oh, and just before we do that, I would like to point out that I have no idea why this works. Um, I asked her and she didn't answer me because she probably already spent way too much time with me and didn't, didn't think it was important. Um, and there probably are channels that could tell you why, but uh, I am not that channel. I'm just going to show you how to do it. So here I have a Premiere Pro file open. It's nothing special. It's just some drone footage that we shot on a real estate shoot yesterday. So if you have a project that's just not working. so. As I mentioned earlier, the scrub bar won't move or um, it's not loading files or you can't extend the size of the display screen. That happens sometimes too. All you have to do is open up this Premiere project in a new project. I know that sounds really weird. Watch this. So we're gonna close the project that is not working. Let's just save it and kill it. Go back to Premiere. And we're gonna open a new project. So this was shot in the Hillcrest neighborhood in Brockville, Ontario. So we're gonna call this project Hillcrest Repair. Oh my God, Tanya, let's, let's spell. Cool, Hillcrest Repair. And we've opened up a fresh new project. So now all we're gonna do is import the old project into a new project. So go to your file, import in Hillcrest. And so we have the old Hillcrest project. So I'm just gonna select it. That was the one we were just working in, the one that was glitchy. And you're gonna import the entire project. Okay, cool. So now you'll see that it's imported the old project into this new project. There's no weird folders. If you just select import whole project, it's not gonna do anything weird nine times out of ten like almost all the time this works so that's it that's the fix that i use for most of the glitches that i encounter in premiere hopefully it helps you guys out and it saves you some headaches and you can just kind of like get through your project without stressing too much about how to fix it uh, hopefully you remember this tutorial when you do encounter a problem and uh, it makes your day a little better so anyway, if this video was helpful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to stay up to date to more Fuji related content, videography, freelancing, tutorials. And uh, if you happen to know why this works or uh, have a similar kind of trick that you'd like to share with everyone, please go ahead and mention it in the comments below. Until next time, go out and make something awesome. Bye.